This has been Monte Carlo Rally Week, and in Glasgow, as from other starting points on the continent, adventurous motorists were setting out on what they consider to be the greatest event of the year. Already we know that on account of the very severe weather conditions met with by competitors, whatever their route, only five of the 282 starters have qualified for the final tests. And the television film cameraman who accompanied Richard Dimbleby and Brian Johnston will be bringing back a dramatic pictorial record. Snow shovels were carried by the prudent and entries varied from the last word in expensive luxury down to the normal family car. Among those who had chosen Glasgow for a starting point were three French teams. They wanted to renew old wartime friendships in Scotland. Two of the youngest competitors entered one of the oldest cars, a small 10 with 85,000 miles already to its credit. And as the northern afternoon light slowly faded, the cavalcade began to move off southward. By next morning they were at Folkestone and our cameraman was recording some impressions of the start. We had a, a few miles of ice but uh, there was nothing very serious and then we had a very nice trouble free run down to Doncaster where we met some fog and uh, a good meal at Doncaster Control. Carried on from that 10-20 miles this side of London and when uh, we again met fog which cleared luckily towards the coast. Another driver spoke of their reception en route. Well, the thing that impressed me most was the wonderful reception from everybody, particularly the little village of Brough, right up in the Pennines where they had strings of red lights across, banners and crowds yeah. of wa waving people. <laughs> Supported by cradles slung under their road wheels, the cars were slung aboard the cross-channel steamer Dina and stowed away in the hold for the journey to Boulogne. 